K-pipe is a very powerful tool. Let's look at a couple of features that make it so. Here is a demo to rotate the model. <coughs> Let's load up big model first. <coughs> this is the big model. Let's look at it and locate the section we want to rotate. If you render it, you see this 45 degree bend and this line. Now, assume that we've been instructed by the design department to remove the bend and connect the line straight from this line. So we need to lose the bend here. In other words, we have to rotate this line up to the valve here, up to the valve by 45 degrees about the x-axis. So how we do that is first we find out what the node numbers are. It's from 1 through 13 is what we want to rotate. So that's 1, node number 1, through 13, which is rows 3 to 15. So which is what we will do. We'll go edit, rotate 3 to 15, and about the x-axis and minus 45 degrees. There you go. Now we come here and remove this bend and add the length of the bend to the straight pipe that comes after it. So 13 to 15 and we change this to 3 feet. That's it. There you have it. A simple operation to rotate a part of a model. Now if you look at the whole picture and look at the area we worked on, you will see that the line is now rotated and in line with the other elements. Now let's go back to see how we can merge or combine two models. First. I'm going to show you the second model that I want to combine with this model. This meaning uh, the big model here. So we close this first. No, don't change it. Don't saving. This is the first model. Now we want to combine this with another model, which is the Seismic Line 2 P8K2. And we want, let's first see that. And this is the second model. If you can see, this is a fairly involved model too. And we want to bring this whole model, starting from here, this point, to the big model. So we close this, we go back to big model. Okay, now we want to bring the other one in. So merge, seismic line. Obviously, the node numbers are duplicating, so KPipe gives you the option to renumber as you merge. So let's say yes, and it gives you a suggestion 560. Uh, let's just make it 5000, just so we know the series. Uh, the node number series where the new model starts. And let's merge it. It's merged. And you see the second model starts from here. It has already done the tough work of identifying the different materials so that there are no duplications between the two models. Same with the pipe sizes, different pipe sizes, and then the loads. So if you look at all these sections of the combined or the merged totality from the two models. All the sections and all the materials, the only two materials and the loads are seven loads, sorry eight loads. So 
that's already been done the heavy lifting is done now what we want to do is combine this model if you notice this zero 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 that's what it means if it says 5000 from and it's a new number the coordinates are assumed to be zero 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 which is the same as the coordinates for one which is zero 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 so theoretically or right now the two models which have been merged are starting from the same point which is here if you see the flashing cursor that indicates the node number one this is the point this is the big model that starts here and the one that comes off here is the second model now what we want to do is combine this or move this model attach it if you want to use that's a better word attach it to this point here this is the point that we want to attach the new model to so we find out what the node number here is it's 539 now let's extend 539 to just about a feet further so we go 539 this is where it is insert a row and make it 5391 extend it by two feet so you see what happened here you have extended this by two feet and now we go back to the model here and simply say change the starting point and we know we want it to start from 539 so simply hit 539 as a starting point say yes and voila you have connected the new model the second model and of course we want to remove the anchor because it's a T intersection and replace that with an SIF so we would make it a branch SIF and it's a welding T you're done the two models have been merged this is the big model and here you have the second model starting from the location here and that's how easy it is and the other things that you want to see here are the different analyses possible you can look at all these here it's advanced dynamic this is for wind earthquake time history for water hammer and pump and compressor vibration and plus you have a lot of static analyses your weight analysis expansion analysis your operating case and basic frequency extraction we call it modal analysis so KPAP has everything whatever simple problem to most intricate model you can do block edits you can change the material let's say you want to change the material from 534 through 5391 which is the point where we just connected our model to so let's locate that point again and that's the point here here this line this line from here through here we want to say change the section to whatever the section the connecting pipe has like this one so it's very simple you first find out where what section that is it is section 24 and we go from note the row numbers 647 to 653 so edit change 646 no it's 647 to 653 653 here we want to change the section and we want to go to 24 that's it 24 and then okay 
and kpipe does it for you in one shot now if you look at the whole model you will see that they have the same section the riser has the same section as the connecting pipe 